So last Thursday was World Book Day, which the schools around here celebrate in different ways. The primary school encouraged the kids to dress up as their favourite book character and to bring the book in if possible. Whereas the secondary schools, at least my son's secondary school, they celebrate it by decorating a classroom or a door with uh, to remind people to look like the book, something from the book. Um, my daughter is in her last year of primary school, so this will be our last dressing up World Book Day. Uh, her favourite book she chose was the Keeper of the Lost Cities series, and the main character on that is a young girl called Sophie Foster, which is who Evie wanted to dress up as. So this was an opportunity for a bit of costume making and a bit of prop making. I've chosen to split it into three short videos rather than one really epic one because the processes, whilst fundamentally the same, have got subtleties to them and people prefer shorter videos. So we'll start off with the Ruin Family Crest, which is a cape pin. This is a relatively simple make. It's a model, 3D print and then paint it and then it's finished. The book describes it as a golden eagle holding a rose on a white background. I drew the eagle and the rose in Inkscape and then brought the curves into Solid Edge. I extruded the different segments to different heights and then exported it for 3D printing. Because I'm FDM printing here, a lot of the detail from the sketch is actually lost, but some of it's retained, and you can at least clearly see what it is. Here you can see me putting gold spray directly onto the PETG. Um, I did another reprint of this and printed it in white. I then base coated it in some primer before gold painting it, and that actually gave a much better surface texture. The next step is to take a, a stiff brush and some thinned acrylic paint to infill the background. To get the red onto the rose petals and the green onto the stem, which are just very thin raised portions of the print, I'm just dry brushing here, um, again with some well, thinned acrylic paint, but it doesn't really matter that it's thinned when it's this dry brush. In the storybooks, the characters in the Elfin world all wear capes and they're all held shut with these uh, cape pins where you have your family crest, or in Sophie's case, her adopted family's crest. Um, this isn't actually going to be a structural pin, but we are going to pin it to the cape, so I need to attach a pin to the back. Um, I'm just using a bit of gold fabric, which is the same fabric used in the gold trim of the cape, to give it a bit of relief, and I'm sticking that on with some quick dry epoxy. Just gives me a bit more surface area to epoxy to. And there we go, one finished family crest cape pin. Thank you for watching and stay safe.